in New York where we stayed on Spring Street. We were all seated around this enormous kitchen table. And this guy comes in looking like Allen Ginsberg on a Dick Gregory diet. He says, uh, how would you like to do this music festival in New York State? And we said, uh, we're going to be in the Tezuki Indian Reservation for the summer solstice. And he says, uh, that's all right. We'll fly you in in an astrojet. And we figured, yeah, right. He's one took over the line. Let's just humor this guy and press on with our life. And then there we are in the summer solstice on the mountain in Tezuki. And this guy shows up with an aluminum rock and roll briefcase. And we pop it open and inside is the linear overlay that indeed we have our own American Airlines Astrojet to take 85 of us and 15 Native Americans to uh, this Aquarian exhibition. And it's called Woodstock, but it was 70 miles from Woodstock. It was uh, uh, quite a stunner, but sure enough, uh, we flew out of Albuquerque into Kennedy, and there's the world press. You know, we had arranged with the promoters that we could do a free kitchen. So they drove us to Bethel or White Lake or whatever you want to call it, and uh, we had an advanced bus. So we ended up in this beautiful bucolic bowl of a farmer named Max Yasker. Tinker, Jerry Lamb, had gone on ahead with the Roadhog, and uh, they had built a little small geodesic dome kitchen thing and began construction of these uh, tables, food stations, where people could line up and get granola or salads and stuff. We were able to feed maybe 10,000 people a meal, which was minuscule compared to the amount of people that were there. Tom and I were uh, wandering around the site. There were about 30,000 people in the infield, and somebody from operations came and said, well, they appear to have the ticket booths up now. You want to clear the infield, and we'll start taking tickets. They had already sold the movie rights to Warner Brothers for six figures, and somehow we knew that. And we looked out, and we saw 30,000 people, and we said, do you want a good movie or a bad movie? So they sent word to operations and got back to us in 15 minutes and said, you're right, we're going to make it a free festival, which was a wise decision.